Hi, this is Jackie Murray. I'm with Ask a Tech Teacher and I'm your guide through these 32 lessons in the Structured Learning Technology Curriculum. This is first grade and we're on lesson 20. This is the second of four drawings that they're preparing for their open house or end of year show that they'll where they'll invite parents to see what they've done. So um, they're going to draw a picture here. You want them to use different tools than they used last week. Like last week we used pencils to draw. This week they'll use, uh, say, uh, paint brushes. You could vary what those are as long as you have them use different tools for each. You want them giving as big a, a a variety of tools and skills that they've used and learned in kinder in first grade as possible. So that's why we vary these. Okay, so um, digital storytelling. We are telling a story as they're going through this. They are telling the story of their life and um, using tools and skills that they learned this year. So uh, help help them understand that if they need to understand that that's what they're doing. Now. Throughout all these drawings, we reinforce grammar and spelling. So make sure students understand that grammar, the use of grammar, makes writing much more understandable. I think last class, didn't we do that? Maybe not. Maybe it was way back here. Where are we? Well, I guess it was somewhere else. Where you just write a big long word. No spaces, no capitalization, and have them try to understand that big long word they won't and then ask them to come up and tell you where those where it should that you should add grammar mm -hmm. so that it's more understandable okay so this is the second of four drawings this time they're going to do their family and they're going to use the paintbrush pretty automatic you aren't going to reteach any of these skills if they don't remember some of the skills then they don't use them but um, you, you want them to authentically show what they, they know how to do. They can certainly ask a neighbor for help. They can um, sit and think about it to try to figure out how, how they would do it, try to remember back. You might have examples on the wall of drawings that they've done in the past using paint brushes. So they can look at those to remind themselves. Um, open your drawing program. Might be Kid Picks Paint, Tux Paint. It might be one of these for Chromebook, these for iPad, whatever you're using. They're going to put their family members, use a different brush for each one, and then text to write, this is my family. Punctuation and capitalization, make sure they have those. Show them how to edit or ask a student to come up and show how to edit if they forgot, if they spelled family wrong or forgot the capital letter. This is typing, so remind them that when they're typing, they do it the right way. Elbows at sides, hands over keyboard, feet flat on the floor, whatever you're emphasizing in first grade. When they're done, have their neighbor look at the pictures and see if they can, if it makes sense. See if they did, in fact, use different brushes. You can see here they really didn't too much. Here they really went to town, lots of different brushes, and same with over here. But, um... You know, if, if they didn't and they still accomplished the drawing, you just leave it. Because this isn't about telling them what they did wrong. It's about a, a formative assessment of what they've learned. Now, these will be either shown as a slideshow or gathered into a digital storytelling tool. We'll look into that more closely when we actually do the gathering. But if you might want to preview one of these two or another digital storytelling tool, uh, Adobe Sway, something that you use in your class, so you are you're ready to show students how to use that to tell their story. Well, I think that's about it. I think there was something in here that I wanted to remind you of. Oh, extensions. Some students will get done soon. They just are like that. So they could add family names to the top. This one has some family names on it. So it was more into doing that than using the dish, different brushes. Could add landscaping. There's um, sun here, grass. They can do that. And they could add a second sentence. They don't have to stop at one. They could add more. So if you have a student that gets done early, these are suggestions for them. They can take their notes down here, too. Maybe they'll want to add something down there. All right, guys, that is it. Let me know if you have any questions. 
I love helping you. Um, otherwise, have a great week and I'll see you in a week. Bye.